When Nigeria decided to embrace a flexible exchange rate by removing the peg on its currency, the expectation was that the move would attract a massive inflow of badly needed foreign exchange. Four months later, the Naira is at its lowest level ever and foreign exchange as scarce as never seen before. Policies by Nigeria's central bank are yet to bear fruit. The issue with Naira is beyond the central bank. Um, it has to be addressed at the fiscal side of the of the policy uh, spectrum. The CBN is limited to the use of monetary policy tools, and that is not sufficient to reverse a situation where there is loss of confidence in the country's currency, where supply sources have dried up or are not sufficient to meet demand, and demand is fixed at a certain minimum. Nigeria's major source of foreign earnings is oil, accounting for over 70% of government revenue. But with global oil prices taking a hit, and militancy in the country's Delta region significantly cutting its production level, even the stream of income has begun to trickle. Yet, Nigerians love for imports is not slowing at all. Every week, Nigerian businessmen are looking for an estimated $2.5 billion to import goods and services. It's a demand the country cannot meet at the moment. The long-term policy objective will actually be to diversify the economy and then have multiple sources of foundation earnings and also domesticate a lot of our consumption. But that is long term. It's not going to happen in the next two, three, four, five years. It will take some time for that to happen. But in the meantime, as a short-term measure, we need access to onshore credit lines for the government to support the currency, to support, um, uh, to stabilize the exchange rate, and therefore restore confidence in the market. Second option would be the concessioning of key, some critical infrastructure that are commercially viable and that bring in foreign direct investors to invest in those infrastructure. The government has resorted to external borrowing to show up its reserves and stabilize the exchange rate. There have also been calls from prominent Nigerians like Africa's richest man, Ali Kodangote, for the country to sell off some of its oil assets and use the proceeds to build reserves. But that suggestion has been contentious. Money coming from the you know, extractive industry, it should be used, should be invested in trying to improve the environment. So you put infrastructure in place, you build industries, you, you know, and so on, you increase power supply, and you, know, you make the environment more attractive. That, that endures. But when you not take it and consume it, now that means you are, being, you are denying the, the following generation you know, the opportunity of, of this asset. While authorities try hard to hammer out the best way to arrest the situation, the gulf between the official and unofficial exchange rates for the Naira continues to widen, fueled by inadequate supply of li liquidity to the forex market and an overwhelming demand. It seems that if Nigerians really want to save their Naira, they must learn to cut their high taste for imports. Dejibadmo, CCTV, Lagos, Nigeria.